here an entire box of 60 Lego DC figures. I'm going to be opening up every single box in here. And, uh, yeah, this box was $300. And, uh, I had to wait for a very long time to actually get it. So, yeah. And also, this is my very first time actually opening an entire box of figures. So, this is going to be new for me. So, just slide this back. There's more room to put the figures down. Alright, so. I guess... Let's get started with the first figure. Oh, dang it. I just lost box instead of actually opening the pack. Just a bag. No way. Okay, this was actually the one that I wanted the most. And I just got Batman. First try. I'm not joking. This, like, I didn't feel the bags either. So I didn't just put Batman at the front. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, that's actually kind of crazy. And this is rope. What? Okay, this is actually kind of crazy. I'm going to go ahead and build this figure, and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the Batman figure. I still cannot believe I got him first try. This, this is a lot like my Muppet video. I got the Swedish Chef first try. And he was the one I wanted the most from that series. And I promise, I'm not, like, feeling these bags so I can get what I want first. But this is a really cool figure, actually. And these are actually the first figures to be five bucks. And, yeah, I know these figures did come out, like, two years ago. But I have them now, so... Yeah, but yeah, pretty cool figure actually. So nice back printing, a uh, blue battering, which is the first time we're seeing it in that color. The bat looks pretty different on his chest. I love this new cowl piece. He has his rope, his underwear on the outside. I still cannot believe. I keep saying this, like. Man. And then there's also the checklists. Now this this series they actually taped all the checklists uh together so I can just these are the only scissors I actually have at my disposal. So I'll just there we go. Alright, so this checklist. We have all the figures here. And on the back, we have how to build the figures. And I'm actually really looking forward to get, getting this Jay Garrick Flash figure. But let's head on to the next pack. This pack's a bit thicker up there. So I'm just going to move everything down and then... Hopefully this one, I can actually, uh, there we go, yeah. There's the, okay, um, I just got the other figure that I wanted the most. I did just say I wanted the Jay Garrick Flash, but, um, what is going on? This was the other figure that I wanted the most out of the series, if not more than Batman. What is going on? I, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. Like, 
So here's the checklist, and then his cape down here. I thought it was something else. Oh yeah, his uh, stand. But what the heck? Okay, this is crazy. I'm just gonna build it real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so here's the Batmite figure. Again, I just cannot believe they got the two figures I wanted most from the series in the first two bags I opened. So he's got his Detective Comics number 27. He's got his short legs and his short black cape. Not black, blue. And then I actually expected this cowl to be rubber. I am so glad it's plastic because I feel like this rubber as you take it off and on, like turn his head or something, it just gets more loose. And I like the print under his mask. He's got the bat, his uh, looks like glasses on. You can see the little print on the side. Oh, I also forgot to mention these packs are also the first ones to come with these action pose pieces. I'm sorry I'm mentioning this again, but still. I can't believe that I got the first the first two were the ones I wanted the most. Alright, let's go on with the next pack. Well, I guess we should just open another pack then. Hopefully it's not Batmite or Batman. Yes, those are the two ones I wanted the most, but if I get a Batman three packs in, I might have to switch these bat these packs around. So I'm just gonna adjust my seat and then uh please not another Batman or another Batmite. Please, 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 please. Alright, it looks like... Oh, a different figure. Yes, it's Cyborg. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and build him. Alright, so here's Victor Stone, a.k.a. Cyborg. Well... He's my first figure that a cape. But he's got some awesome arm and leg printing there. No dual molding like they had on the Batman figure. I forgot I said about the Batman figure. Also, he has dual molding. And then, uh... He's got this purple chain for some reason. I don't know that much about Cyborg. But I'm not sure why he's a purple chain. But I'm pretty sure this is his first appearance. I'm not sure. But it's kind of cool, though, because when you take off his uh, headgear, he has the same kind of printing that it does here, but just without the hair. I'm a little disappointed they didn't add a second uh, face print. But he's got some pretty cool printing all around, though, so I'm not that mad. They did give me an extra chain. I think that's supposed to happen in every bag. I'm not sure. And they only gave a chain to one other person in the series. That was Mr. Miracle. And, um... I also forgot to say, with this series, I feel like a lot of people were mad about this. But being a LEGO fan and a DC fan, I was really happy about this. And four packs in, one duplicate. I'm happy. Let's get another pack. Alright. So let's go on to our next pack. Doesn't look as thick. It she feels kind of thin, so I'm guessing it's not. I'm really hoping it's not another double, cause I'm just not gonna bring it up anymore. Seems like. Oh, it's the Joker. Oh, that should be really cool. Alright, I'm gonna go to building that one. Alright, so here's the Joker figure. It's actually a pretty cool figure. And, uh... I really like his white suit with the purple underneath. And in his hand... 
He's got this big cotton candy piece, but then in his hand he's got this Joker card, and the he has two Jokers on the card, and then each of those Jokers are holding a card that has two Batman, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, face is also really cool, and that's a good green hair piece right there. Yeah, the only thing I don't really like about this figure is the lack of a second face print. But other than that, this is a really good suit piece. And I really like this figure. And now we have Batman and the Joker. I'm gonna move that piece so you can see his face. There we go. Kind of helps. Alright, let's move on to our next figure.